Now, if you want to display your org modes agenda in a different view, maybe you prefer working with a calendar like view, you can take a look at this, uh, this particular uh, framework called Cal F W. I don't really know how to say this. What is the what, what is the best way of uh, saying this? But basically, if you install this Cal F W, you will be able to display your agenda, which is usually uh, displayed like this. Let me try to open this uh, in a different uh, page. Maybe not. So let me just go back to the previous screen. Okay. So usually, if you're working with org mode, you are, your your agenda is displayed um, vertically for each and every day, starting with, of course, uh, let us say, depending upon your configuration, it will display uh, dates on top of each other, which is fine, but uh, sometimes you prefer, you may prefer looking at a calendar because when you're looking at a calendar, I think our minds think of whenever we think about a specific day or a date in future or maybe this week or next week we i think we all visualize at least me and i'm sure many others uh, we all visualize um, a calendar and uh, when you're planning some activity when you're thinking of doing something and maybe you want to be reminded and you want to know what all you have to do this week or next week Having a having a calendar view can be useful. I'm not really saying it it is something that you need, but you can take a look at it. There is actually this um, this wonderful mode here that you can uh, configure in your Emacs. Now I have already installed it, and the good thing is that you don't really need to use. So it can work with. You don't need to use org mode. That is what I'm trying to say. It it has a, a way to read your org agenda. So if you read the documentation for installing, I think once you install the package, you can simply require it in your .emx file. And uh, there are different uh, key bindings that you can configure. And I prefer working with the org mode mostly. Um, and uh, there is a command. So if you type in uh, metax followed by cfw colon open hyphen org i hyphen calendar it will display your org agenda in a calendar view so if you're using dates in your schedule or maybe date a deadline i believe it will uh, organize everything nicely in a calendar format if you read further on this particular page i'll share the link there is also a way where you can uh, configure your Google Calendar that can sync with it. I don't really, I tried doing it, but uh, it didn't work for me. But I'll I'll probably try again. But I think you can try maybe the, the calendar, the Cal F W can work for you. So let me show you my, uh, my, uh, my, my screen here. So you can see here that this, this is how your agenda will look like. Although right now I'm not really sh uh, using uh, my org agenda files, my org agenda. So there is a command for doing that. So if you do metax and if you type in cf um, w, and then you can type in uh, whatever you want to type in. So if you type in org, let me just you know try to show you the command. So you so you can. Um, Type in here org open. I actually forgot. <laughs> I think it was calendar. No. Op org open. Let me just go back and take a look at the documentation. So this uh, so, so so the command is open org calendar. So let us try that again. Open org calendar so this is the command and it will basically uh, show you your uh, org uh, agenda 
in a different format in a calendar format you can also open so you can configure different sources and i'm still trying to figure out how it works but to be honest i'm just happy with the, the with the org files that can appear in a calendar format and i thought i'll uh, share it with uh, everyone i'm not sure whether i'll be using it for sure it looks promising and uh, i will give it a try for maybe a few more days let us see how it, how it goes i mean I, I don't really have to i mean i can also use this calendar along with my uh, usual agenda and i can always of course switch buffer and take a look at the calendar view if i have to so i'll definitely give you my my feedback after using this for maybe a few more weeks or at least few more days so this is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much